Cool. So um, yeah, I'll just get started. Basically, my talk is called Delighting Customers at Scale, Using N8N to Power an Operations Heavy Business. So a little bit of background on me. Um, I'm more just like a, a maker, independent entrepreneur. Um, been running a web design business with my wife now for a handful of years, but that's pretty part time at this point. And now I'm, we're really focused on like just building side projects, working on things, trying to build up a portfolio of independent businesses, profitable businesses. So that's kind of the idea. Um, I'm buddies with Ben from the NAN team. So chatted with him in the fall uh, of last year. So not too many months ago, he told me about NAN, got me early access to um, NAN, NAN Cloud. And I had a project in mind that I wanted to test out. So I had recently moved to Portugal about a year ago. <clears throat> One piece of the puzzle was getting a tax ID, which is a little bit challenging because you need to get a Portuguese citizen to actually apply on your behalf. Um, and I, I noticed that there weren't many ways for, there wasn't an easy way to get that done. People would go to Facebook groups and they'd be like, hey, who can help me get this tax ID? And basically everyone's like, oh, DM this person or DM that person. There's like no website, there's no press transparency, um, none of this kind of stuff. Looks like Max is trying to enter. Uh, and uh, so, my wife and I thought like, oh, why don't we just put together a simple website, collect the order, find a law firm partner here locally in Portugal to actually get the tax ID for people and you know, whatever, see if we can make a couple of orders a month and have a nice little dinner or something. That was the idea. Um, it kind of turned out to be a little bit bigger than that and I'll, I'll show you guys the, the results so far, um, but let's go ahead. So let me see this, okay. I wonder how I hide this thing. Uh, whatever, let's just roll with this. Okay, so Border is our company name. Um, and at this point, we, we started out with just like helping people get tax ID, but we're reformulating how we view ourselves and we're thinking about more like we help people relocate to Portugal. So we started with tax ID, but we're working on bank account services and, and a number of other services in the pipeline as well. Um, let's go ahead, started as a side project launched on Twitter, got my first customer a couple days later from Twitter. And then we started reaching out to influencers, primarily on YouTube, people who had moved to Portugal, talking about the process of moving here. And a lot of their audience are interested in relocating here. A lot of retirees like leaving the United States or wherever country um, and trying to come here. So, and, and the tax ID recently has become a requirement for submitting your application. So that's the, it's a key, a key component here. So in the past few months, um, a lot has happened and I'll show you some stats. We've earned 51,000, over $50,000 in revenue. Uh, and we've, we've, ex or we've fulfilled over 350 paid orders. So that's unique customers. Um, and we also have a wait list of about 250 people on the, the bank account services and a number of other services beyond that. The bank account's the one that we're currently working on. Um, it's still just my wife and myself. And I just wanted to show you kind of what I've been, what we've been able to achieve primarily because of N8N, to be honest. Um, this is our trust pilot reviews. You can see people like us. We've had 54 reviews so far, all five stars, 100%. Um, what's really funny is that if you take a look at our reviews, if you just read some of these things, like Richard kept me informed along the way, which is greatly appreciated. Um, basically people, are thinking since since we're I'm using N8N to send transactional emails using um, Postmark as our email provider. I, I, I just sign off the emails as my own name, and if they respond, of course I respond. But people actually think that I'm the one keeping them up to date at every step of the way. But um, so it, it works out for everyone. You know, it's uh, it's pretty nice. And, and and we do have transactional emails like literally for receiving your order when you when you submit your um, power of attorney that's been signed, and then. Like literally, you know, every every day or so, you you get a message, and and we've been fortunate enough to have a pretty quick turnaround. So just after a few days, we've been able to turn um, turn the tax IDs around to to our customers. I'll show you our tech stack, and this is where it got really fun. Um, on the front end, we're using Next.js, just a simple static website. I'm using Paperform as our um, checkout, so this handles the information intake. It also handles the payment along with Power by Stripe. Um, using Airtable as our backend database at the moment, everything gets sent into there. Um, Process Street, this is for handling um, this is for handling 
like tasks. So when we assign, we, we work with law firms, right? So when we assign a task to the law firm, they, they complete the task there, they can upload files, whatnot. It pro basically provides like a, a self-contained UI so that um, they, when, they, when they upload things, they don't mess up. I'm not giving them access to my Airtable directly. So once they submit something, then I send it over to Airtable. I'm using Anvil as a, this is an API for generating PDFs, postmarked for the transactional emails. Zapier a little bit when I have to, because some services only, or at least on, pay, on the tier that I'm on, only integrate with Zapier and don't have an open API, but for everything else, and I, I'd much rather use N8N, it's because it's just a lot more powerful from my perspective. Um, I would say N8N is the, the much bigger piece that's connecting everything right now. And just wanted to show you some of the, how we've been able to scale the operations. Cause in, you know, as you can imagine, like, 300 customers is a ton of people for us to like manually do everything. And, and we started everything manually, um, but over time I've been able to automate more and more with, with N8N and a lot of these tools. So um, two, two, th two key categories that have helped us scale or one is like automation. So I listed a bunch of things here, like adding the order to Airtable, generating the power of attorney, PDF using Anvil, sending the transactional emails with Postmark, um, creating the task in Process Street. So, all of these things we used to do manually and now we've been able to automate a lot of it. And then secondly is, um, which is super powerful and takes a little bit of creative thinking is like, how can you turn some of your parts of your application or some parts of your workflow into self-service options? So one part was people would have to up, send us their signed PDF and I would manually upload that into Airtable. And so what I've done instead is I create a paper form where they can, and it tracks their ID similar to, uh, I forget your name already, but Teflon's, Teflon's thing with his GUID, um, it checks that in the, in the URL. And so then it automatically will update their row and air table with this, with this attached file. So the self-service is like the super cool stuff. I think the automation was the more obvious stuff, but the two of these things combined have, have really enabled us to, to scale our operations without having to sacrifice any of the um, customer service that you know, we wanted to provide. And let me see, so we've got, I just wanted to show a couple of screenshots of, of the workflows that we've got going on here. Um, nothing crazy, it's, it's more of the thinking about NAN as like the middleware between applications. So here I'm using the Airtable trigger and then I'm like filtering off of that. I've got the split and batches node, generate like a, a timestamp. And then here, like for example, over time we've like learned different parts of the application. So like. Um, the template is different, like the power of attorney is different if you're under 18 or if you're over 18. So we handle that case. And then we um, basically use the HTTP request node. I don't recall what this is. I think, oh, this is to, to generate the PDF using Anvil. And then um, I had to do a workaround with AWS to be able to actually update the file in Airtable. But yeah, anyway, that, that's, that's one workflow for creating the power of attorney. Um, and having it automatically sent to the customer. And then this workflow is when we receive the, the, the tax ID, which is called a NIF in Portugal. Um, I actually just basically attach it to an email, send it out to our, our customer, again, using the um, HTTP request node as well. And this integrates with, with a postmark. And then I, up, I update an Airtable, just basically logging to make sure that we, um, we know that we've, we've sent these things out. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> so I'll leave it at that. If you guys have any questions uh, about the business side, about the implementation side, happy, happy to answer.